Hello everyone, this is DA from Mia Academy and today this video is about the definition of upper and lower Riemann integral. So let's start with the definition. In the previous video we have talked about what is supremum of a function provided a partition B and we'll write it as M is equal to supremum of the functions um, x are taken between a and b and what is a and b? a and b are coming from the partition p that have elements x0 that is a to xn that is b so in the same way we know what is meant by the infimum of a function within this boundary or within this partition p that is represented by small m and there is an obvious relation between the supremum and the infimum of the function that m that is the infimum is always less than the supremum capital m of the function and we have also seen the definition of the riemann upper sum and the riemann lower sum and the definition in the mathematical form is that so this is the upper riemann sum or the riemann upper sum where we have function that is bounded in the limit a and b and we know what is the partition that are taken in between a and b x1 uh, to xn that is b and here a capital M is the supremum of the function and capital MK is the in supremum the most upper value within a certain interval delta xk this so this is the this is the definition of the upper Riemann sum that was discussed in one of the previous video and similarly we where we use infimum instead of supremum m capital m k and the definition is so this is the lower Riemann sum where we use small m k the infimum within a certain limit within the boundary a v of the partition p so we represent this with the smallest the Riemann lower sum and with the capital s we have represented the Riemann upper sum so now we are able to define what is meant by Riemann upper integral and Riemann lower integral by using the definition of Riemann upper sum and Riemann lower sum so and we know that this p is taken from a set of partitions and this is x0 x1 so on to xn where x0 is is a and xn is is b so the set of partition p have a lot of partition other than this p so this upper sum this Riemann upper sum is for the single partition p and this Riemann lower sum is for a single partition p but if we calculate the upper Riemann sum for every possible partition p from this set of partition and same case for this then we have a set of values a set of values for this Riemann upper sum and the set of values for this Riemann lower sum and for this set of values that are taken from every possible partition from this set of partitions what why this the the set is useful we can find the supremum and infimum values from this and we can define the lower or upper Riemann integral from the set now we will write the set that how this finding the value of every possible sum from the partition for every possible partition p and finding the lower sum for every possible partition p so we can write it as so this is the set of all of the possible Riemann upper sum that are taken from all the possible partition p and if we're going to take the infimum of these upper sum then this is the definition of the Riemann upper integral infimum are taken from the set that have the values for the for every possible partition that are taken from the set of partitions because upper sum has a, has a certain value so from a certain set of values we can figure out the infimum and this infimum is eventually the upper Riemann integral and the notation for the upper Riemann integral is as this is calculated between a and b so f is the bounded, bounded function on which the working has been done and here it is the upper Riemann integral considering the upper upper Riemann sum so we will have to make a bar on the 
upper limit b here so this is the integral a to b this is eventually the sum that are taken between a and b and why there is a bar on b on the upper limit because we have taken the upper Riemann sum and then we have the infimum the most lowest or the value of the greatest lower bound as Riemann upper integral so this is the definition of the Riemann upper integral and similarly we can write the definition of Riemann lower integral by making a set of the lower sum for every possible partition and then taking the supremum of that sum so this is the value uh, supremum of the all of the lower sum that are taken from every possible partition in the set of all of the partition and we can write it as the sum from a to b of the bounded function f because we have considered the lower sum so there is a bar on a but not on the above side of a but on the lower end of this a so this is the Riemann upper integral and this is the Riemann lower integral so Riemann lower integral is the supremum of all of the possible lower Riemann sum and the Riemann upper integral is the infimum for every possible Riemann upper sum from a set of partitions taking a different set of partitions and because the definitions are different uh, the upper sum is different, the lower sum is different, but there comes a point when both of the sum, the Riemann upper sum and the Riemann lower sum may have the may have same value. So if the upper and the lower sum, if if the upper and the lower integrals have the same value, then we can say that so if upper and the lower sum have the same value, then we can say that the function f is now Riemann integrable. So this is the condition for being a Riemann integrable function, and this is this is the function that we have we have seen in the form that a b f of x dx, and this is the Riemann integral Riemann integrable function if it have this property that upper and the lower Riemann integral have the same value, and there is there is a hidden relation between every Riemann upper sum, uh, Riemann upper integral, and every Riemann lower integral. That always, for every for every partition, the Riemann lower sum. I'm using sum again and again. The Riemann upper integral is always less than Riemann upper integral, or they have uh, because they have equality relation. So Riemann upper Riemann upper integral is always is always greater than or equal to Riemann lower integral, and this this relation is hidden in the definitions of of the partitions of the supremum and infimum of the Riemann lower and upper sum, and also in the relation of every uh, of every supremum and infimum relation with uh, without having any particular partition relation. So the next video we will see the proof and this is for now for most of the videos then you can subscribe this channel to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye